Hello everyone, this is Ian Ormus with Tech Defense, and uh, today I'm not doing a real uh, you know, full-fledged tech tip, I just wanted to show you guys a project I'm working on and hopefully get some feedback uh, from you guys. So basically, um, you know, last week we went over um, Mastiff, the automatic static analysis framework, and uh, you know, how they can help us quickly analyze a whole bunch of samples at once. Um, but I wanted to show a way to output the files uh, or develop a way to output um, the results into a more workable file for uh, analysis and, and also just to be able to uh, you know show your boss if you need to you know that type of thing. So uh, I began working on a program, a Python program called uh, Mastiff to HTML, which you can uh, download here at uh, my GitHub page if you'd like. So GitHub. Uh, dot com slash enormous slash tech defense there's a link uh, to my github page right on techdefense.com so you can always uh, go right there to see it um, but yeah so I wanted to you know develop a, a cleaner front end view to the analysis results so uh, that's what I'm going to demo for you real quick here so just to show you what we're working with um, right here is the apt1 uh, 281 samples that FireShare had. I think they're up to like 288 now, but when I ran the results, it was 281. So, anyways, here's Mastiff results for all those. Now, if I want to see um, what's going on with the hash 70a, I would you know, change directory to there. See what files we have to work with. Um, and let's cat fuzzy text. All right, no other hashes were related or no other. Uh, samples had a fuzzy hash similar to this one so great uh, p info quick let's see what's going on there good we see some awesome imports that are occurring see some processes occurring awesome great but that's how we'd have to go through this for all of our different samples if we wanted to so what I did was create this guy here and let's demo that now so let's run him and uh, attack F for the work log directory for the sample group. So wherever your massive database is going to be. So for me, that's going to be slash opt slash work apt1 for this one and log. And ensure you have that trailing forward slash. Otherwise, my, my program will crash. Uh, unfortunately, I, I didn't parameterize it accordingly for that. So, um, tack D, you also have to put in, and that's the database name. And in most cases, that's going to be mastiff.db. And then you run it. So, you can see what it's doing now. It's uh, generated mastiff.html, which is just a single file. <clears throat> Excuse me. It's just a uh, single HTML file. Uh, that'll be like your launch launching page for this result analysis. Uh, then it's going to create a table in the Mastiff database called Extended. This takes a little bit; it could take three to five minutes, depending on how many samples you're you're playing around with. Um, I'll, I'll try to you know, decrease that time as we go along. I think I I could probably uh, get that down substantially. And then after. After done doing that, it's going to generate an HTML page for each of those samples and uh, let you know where the analysis results are. So, great. So, let's go check out the analysis results. So, now if we go over here and ls, you'll notice we have a new directory called www. So, it's going to drop this in the whatever work log directory you gave it to or gave it in the uh, Python script. And you can see we have a whole ton, bunch of HTML uh, pages in here. So let's just quickly show you what goes on. Mastiff.html. And this is what we get. So from all the samples, it's going to give you a generic launch off page of the Mastiff uh, database. And here you'll have a, you know, a generic uh, UID a unique identifier, then you'll have the MD5, it'll tell you what file types were involved, and then the fuzzy hash. And you'll see that for each of the samples that were in the database. 
if you want to see anything more about any of these, you just click on one of them, and it will bring you to that HTML page specifically for um, that hash. So now you have the results that you can view here. So if, if it's text, you can view it right in your browser. So strings that text, great. You can go see all the strings in this particular sample. Uh, if we want to see p info that quick, great. We got it right here. So it just gives us an easier way to get to it, and uh, I hope to eventually, you know, add out a little bit more to this. For instance, uh, pull in some web scrape data, um, you know, to search threat expert. Uh, MALWR, all, all these different resources we have available, search these hashes to pull in more data uh, about these guys if there's something available. But I'd like to hear what you guys think. So you know, let me know if you think this is useful or not, and uh, if you have any suggestions on where I should take it, um, I'd also like to hear it. So thanks.